Welcome! In this video, we'll go over how you can track expenses like mileage, meals, day rates and more. To use expenses, you first need to enable them in workspace settings here. Then, expenses will show up in the sidebar so each user can record them. The expenses page lists all your expenses grouped by date. To create a new expense, click Add Expense. First, we'll select the date when the expense happened and then choose the project under which we want to file the expense. Then we'll choose the category. You can categorize expenses by transportation, meals, day rate and more, plus you can create your own categories which we'll cover later. Expenses can be recorded by sum or by unit. For example, if you choose meals, you'll be able to write a total amount like $100. But if you choose transportation, you'll have to write the number in miles, which is the unit for this category. Let's say we traveled 100 miles and add a note to trip to New York. Now, when we create the expense, the unit will be multiplied by this category's unit price and we'll get the amount. Next, expenses can be billable or non-billable. Billable status is inherited from the project, but you can always override it. We'll mark this one as non-billable because we don't want to invoice it. And finally, we'll attach a receipt for accounting purposes. Just find the file, be it an image or a PDF, add it and save the expense. You can also add expenses via mobile app and add the receipt by taking a photo of it directly via the phone camera. Now the expense is added and you can see it in your list and you can open the receipt by clicking on the attachment icon. If you made a mistake, you can edit or delete the expense here. Expenses that have a unit will show the unit here and the amount is automatically calculated. To change the unit price and manage categories, click on the settings icon. Let's say we want to track overtime as separate project expenses. We can create a new category called Overtime and say it has a unit price of $100 per one hour. Once you add a new category, it will appear here and become available when recording expenses. You can edit the category by clicking here or archive it if you no longer use it. Once archived, a category is no longer available when creating expenses. It doesn't impact existing expenses in any way. You can also delete an archived category to completely remove it, but in that case, existing expenses will become uncategorized. Each user can see and record their own expenses, but if you're admin, you can see other people's expenses by switching to their expense list here. Admins can edit other people's expenses and add new expenses for them by clicking Add and then selecting them in the user dropdown. Team managers, on the other hand, can see expenses of their team members, but they can only edit or add expenses for them if allowed in workspace settings. You can also invoice and export expenses. To learn more, be sure to check out our other tutorials about reporting and invoicing.